today we will discuss about compounding of impulse turbine we know that what is compounding method of expanding steam through series of stages to reduce the turbine rotor speed is called compounding in the case of impulse turbine compounding is of three types velocity compounding pressure compounding and pressure velocity compounding today we will discuss about three compounding processes velocity compounding what is velocity compounding firstly discuss about the parts of the velocity compounding which are used for measurement of pressure and velocity we have a nozzle then a moving blade then a fixed blade and a moving blade these are the combination of the stages in the velocity compounding nozzle is used for increase velocity of steam moving blade is used for absorb kinetic energy of steam fixed blade simply direct steam to moving blade and moving blade we know absorb kinetic energy of steam now we discuss about the velocity and pressure graph for the velocity compounding in velocity compounding arrangement of nozzle moving blade and fixed blade are in this order firstly there is a nozzle then moving blade then a fixed blade then moving blade fixed blade and moving blade these are the combination of the velocity compounding if we discuss about the pressure and velocity graph for velocity compounding in nozzle we know that nozzle is used for increasing the velocity of the steam so this is the line which shows the increase in velocity we denoted it by v and in the nozzle pressure will decrease this is denoted by p then in the moving blade when steam or water will strike on the moving blade then it will lose its velocity then velocity will goes down or reduce velocity then in fixed blade velocity will be almost constant then in moving blade it will further decrease and then in fixed blade it will almost constant and in moving blade then it further decrease this is the velocity graph in velocity compounding and pressure will remain constant in the velocity compounding so this is the velocity compounding in pressure compounding arrangement will be like this firstly we have nozzle then moving blade nozzle moving blade and nozzle moving blade if we discuss about the graph of pressure and velocity in pressure compounding what will happen in the nozzle we know that velocity will increase and pressure will decrease then on the moving blade pressure will almost constant then in the nozzle it will further decrease in the moving blade it will further constant and in the nozzle it will decrease and in the moving blade it is almost constant if we discuss about velocity line in the moving blade it will decrease because loss of kinetic energy on the moving blade and in the nozzle it will further increase on the moving blade it will decrease in the nozzle it will increase and moving blade it will decrease so this is the pressure compounding graph for pressure and velocity and in the combination of pressure velocity compounding the arrangement will be like this 
and the graph of the pressure velocity compounding will be pressure or velocity graph velocity will be increase in the nozzle and pressure will decrease in the nozzle then it will almost constant to the moving blade but velocity will decrease in the moving blade in the fixed blade it will almost constant and in the moving blade it will further decrease now in the nozzle further these stages will repeat this graph pressure will decrease in the nozzle and velocity will increase in the nozzle then on the moving blade velocity will decrease on the fixed blade velocity will almost constant and in the moving blade it will decrease and pressure will remain constant for all the stages so this is the pressure velocity compounding so these are the compounding processes used for reducing the rotor speed in the case of impulse turbine thank you for seeing this video for more updated videos you can subscribe me on my channel learn and grow thank you